How you doing? It's Tim. Um, just got done talking to a brother, my sister's fiance, Joseph. And as soon as I just got done talking to him, and I've had a crazy day kind of on Facebook with a bunch of people that just don't quite get it and understand. And I know God wants things a certain way. And he just shown me how and a lot of it has to do with the Bible and I know God just this past year has been so strong against me reading that book and I know it's his and I know everything in it from beginning to end should not be changed and it's all true and it's all to help us and to grow us and you know gain us knowledge but he he doesn't really have me reading it you know every once in a while there's things he had me pick up just to remind me and just in about 10 minutes ago I just felt encouraged to share this I don't know what that was something over there moved um, that the reason why God doesn't want me to and it's because you know we're com we're coming to the last days that we're in right now and we have the church right now that can't even walk in love from the last video I just you know talked about and we got denomination over denomination and denomination and they're all fighting they're fighting over what that Bible and you know what we all need to do as Christians we need to set that Bible aside come back to Jesus come back together in love and just love each other you know we need to set set these doctrines aside set them aside and walk in the love of Christ it's just stop being so religious this book is not God God is not confined to this book that you want to call a Bible you know God is so much abroad so much bigger take him out of the little box that you put him in and start praying and seeking for wisdom seeking understanding praying for knowledge and let him pour it into you through the spirit that is alive because this book is only alive when the spirit is alive be filled with Christ and not so much of this head knowledge that we get and we start fighting because we're so much indulged in the flesh trying to understand a book that we know that's inspired by God but yet we have no understanding on how the power of it works because we have no spirit and we lack spirit so if we set this book aside and we start seeking the Spirit of God that is alive in Christ then we will come to a better understanding and everything that's written in that book will already come to pass in your life because everything that's written in that book it will be written on your heart and you will start to see it and you will start to walk in it and you'll start to walk in this love you will start to walk in his greatness and his holiness and his righteousness and his power you will start to be a threat of the enemy and and you wonder why some of these people out here, they, they say they been claimed to be a Christian, can read the, the Bible from front to back so many times, and they do their Bible studies religiously, one, two, or three every single week. But still, they have the same problems year after year after year. No change in their life. They struggle with the same sins year after year. They struggle with... You know, their same anger. They get angry over the same things. They, they struggle with the, the same pornography. They st struggle with the same drinking habit and smoking habit. And they can't lay it down and submit to Jesus and lay everything down. Christ called us to lay it all down. Not just part, not just some. Everything. Because He is King. He is Lord. He's the one giving you life. Doesn't He not deserve your life in all, not just part? He said all, not me. And that's what we need to give. Not give our all to the Bible and our all to reading the book, but our all to Jesus and seeking a relationship which comes in prayer and seeking greater in fasting. Seeking greater by asking Him for all these things that we need in the church. For this greater spirit to be filled and indwell and empower us. And so... I just pray that this video can bless you. And I know so many of you are going to be offended. And that's okay. But uh, 
as long as I know I'm grounded in Christ, you know, I'm not going to waver from this video and anything I have to say. Because you can throw all the religion at me about how good the Bible is and that we need to read it and it's to uh, help us. I never said anything about it not helping you. I never said that it's bad to read the Bible. I never said stop reading it completely. I just said stop idolizing it. Stop putting the book before Jesus because Jesus is not the book. Jesus is the Word. And that's another thing for another conversation that I know many people don't understand that Jesus is the Word and the Word is alive. The Word is true. The book is not anything but a book until we know Christ and we get to know Jesus inside here that lives in us. And so I love you all and I pray that you can grow in Christ. And I pray for everybody out there that you can be filled with Christ and uh, He can bless you with everything that you need, everything that you ask of Him, and that you can spend more time with Him and just let go and surrender everything that you have to Him, that uh, we can just continue to serve Him and um, be blessed in Jesus' name. I love you.